Now it's time for the awards portion of this afternoon's program. We have six HENAC award winners who will be receiving their awards tonight and eight HENAC luminaries to honor as well. Here to present our first HENAC award, please welcome Maria Rus, CEO and founder of LSCW LLC, past HENAC award winner and current GMIS board member. everybody. Uh, Dr. Giselle Ragusa is a fearless champion of education who has dedicated her career to creating a greater access opportunity and instruction for students in STEM fields. Her unique history as a female student who was the first in her family to attend college and also to have a disability drove her early professional experiences. She taught in the elementary, middle, and high school classrooms, served as a parent educator, and ventured into adult education as well. The majority of her students lived in poverty, had special needs, or were otherwise marginalized. She views such challenges not as liabilities, but as potential assets if nurtured by educators and mentors. With this in mind, Dr. Ragusa developed a theoretically grounded education and mentorship model that directly targets underrepresented minority students and faculty across educational landscape. Named the Ragusa Research Schema, Schema, this model offers multi-dimensional theoretical contexts that enable impact-focused studies in K-12, community college, and university settings, the whole pipeline. Dr. Ragusa has served as a principal investigator on more than 25 federal grants, and she has mentored hundreds of K-12 teachers in STEM. She is the chairperson of the USC STEM Consortium, and she's directly touched the lives of 14,900 K-12 students. Wow. Of which 85% have Latino backgrounds. Well, I would have loved to have her as my teacher. <laughs> Honored guests, I am delighted to present the Vanguard Award to Dr. Giselle Ragusa. Oh my goodness, the first one. It is with tremendous pride and honor that I accept the Great Minds in STEM Vanguard Award this year. Excellence through diversity holds tremendous importance to us all, especially those who represent STEM university programs, an area where student and faculty diversity has not always been present. I grew up in several groups that have been historically underrepresented in STEM, and I came to STEM from outside the science and engineering fields, yet have been fully embraced and welcomed. The Vanguard Award is designated for someone who has the ability to convene large groups of stakeholders to positively change current paradigms around STEM for underrepresented groups. Over the past 10 years, I have tried to make this my life's work. I believe to fully support and advance future STEM workforces that are truly diverse, we must work selflessly and together in full collaboration in order to shift paradigms in STEM education from K-12 to university to professions to improve the future of minority students. This effort must indeed include a consortia focus and involve diverse stakeholders to be fully actualized. 
I'm immensely thankful to the USC STEM Consortium that makes this happen in real time every day. Thank you very much.